I started painting since I was a kid and I studied environmental engineering. I took a PhD on climate change adaptation mitigation with nature based solution. And uh, those studies entered in my artwork and now the two research, the artistic research and the uh, scientific research are completely overlapped. So my artwork are based and deeply influenced from my scientific research on climate change and environment. So I work through art. It's another kind of language for speak about this problem, different from the political language and different from the scientific language. But uh, it's also a powerful language because it works more on the emotion side and compared to the other language. And so with the other language can be a very strong tool for raise awareness about climate change and environmental problems. Uh, so I choose Delhi because in uh, November 2018 uh, became uh, the most polluted city for air quality index and um, I would like to do a project about air quality and so this was the perfect location to speak about it. As all my project I, get in, I start reading journals and papers about uh, environment and uh, climate change problems related to the cities and I also want to speak with the, an independent center of research. So this is why I went to uh, Center for uh, Science and Environment, CSIA, CNC, and, um, and I ask data about air pollution. So my work is made like that. I, I work with scientists, I get the data, and after I envision an artwork, and uh, Air Inc. is a sponsor that gives me this uh, ink that is made from pollution. So my idea was painting pollution with the pollution. And I think this works, it becomes something metaphysic. And uh, it's just a cloud of pollution made with pollution. So I think it's, it's more coherent than just the painting. I, I think it's needed to work and to do climate action with uh, a very multidisciplinary point of view with, uh, with different fields together to act and do the best for contrast the climate change and uh, for uh, mitigate climate change for adapt to climate change so definitely yes <laughs> it's not only science so not only science and art also sociology political studies and everything together for do um, very in, in, uh, strong project for raise awareness and act against climate change. So all my images are a gift uh, to the environment, um, a tribute to the environment. And those shapes are symbolic shapes but they are open to the interpretation of the public. So everyone can see what you want in these images, but for me, uh, they are deeply connected to the environment and they are a tribute to the environment for a, a more ecocentric view and not an anthropocentric view. <laughs>